Hey everybody, hope you guys are all doing well. Today we are going to be making a really easy brunch recipe and I'm still trying to build up more of the breakfast recipes in that category here on my channel. So we are making Bananas Foster Buttermilk Pancakes. Really simple recipe and I will give you more directions about, you know, flaming up those bananas in your house. Let's get on to the recipe. <laughs> So let's start our recipe by sifting all of our dry ingredients. That is our sugar, all-purpose flour, baking soda, baking powder, and salt. Now as far as the wet ingredients, we have buttermilk, we have two eggs, and we're gonna put some melted butter in. And then I also like to add vanilla. Now vanilla is not a standard ingredient in pancakes, but I just think it adds just a little bit more flavor that can definitely add to the recipe. Now you just wanna whisk all of your wet ingredients until they're well combined. Don't forget for this recipe and the exact measurements, go to gdseasoning.com. The links will be in the description. Next, we're gonna pour the wet ingredients right into the dry ingredients, and we're just gonna whisk until the mixture is just combined. Do not overmix your pancake batter. It's not supposed to be smooth, it's supposed to be lumpy, okay? So now we have the griddle getting hot. I actually have the griddle, this is a cast iron griddle over medium low heat. I'm so used to blasting everything. Um, I had to remember that I was cooking pancakes and you wanna cook pancakes on a gentle heat so they can take their time and cook properly. In addition to that, remember cast iron is a great conductor of heat. So this griddle gets nice and hot even on medium low heat. And if you wanna see a review that I did on this cast iron grill and griddle, I'll link that video below. Okay, so now we're looking for the telltale sign that pancakes are ready to be turned or those bubbles at the top. That's what you wanna look for, those open holes or bubbles right on the top. That's your sign to turn over your pancakes. And then you just repeat the process. Put some butter on the griddle and lay down more pancakes. Okay, so our last batch of pancakes are done and being kept warm. Now I'm gonna take some cinnamon, light brown sugar, and some butter. I'm gonna cook that in a 10 inch skillet over medium heat just until the sugar dissolves and turns into a nice little caramel sauce. Now we're gonna add the bananas to the caramel sauce and we're just gonna stir them around for about a minute or so. I prefer my bananas to actually be able to hold their shape, so you're only gonna do this about maybe 30 seconds to a minute. Okay, now it's time to add our dark rum, but I want you to notice something. Just before, look how my fire is. I have it over about medium heat. There's no need to have your heat up excessively high. So we're gonna leave it there at medium heat and we're just gonna go ahead and continue to add our dark rum. And then we're just going to give it a light shake over the heat to try to ignite the rum. See right there, see how gentle that was? It wasn't a big blowout, it's a nice fire. It's gonna create a beautiful sauce. You're just gonna keep shaking the skillet back and forth until the alcohol cooks off, and that'll be denoted by the flame going out. And then just give it a stir for about 30 more seconds and it's all done. Okay, so right now what you're seeing is me making enough of the bananas foster for two servings. The written recipe actually is enough for four. Now all you have to do is ladle over your bananas foster right over your pancakes. No syrup needed. So we have some beautiful fluffy pancakes topped with this rich bananas foster topping. And it is so delicious. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. I wanna thank you guys for watching. You know I appreciate it when you come spend some time with me. And don't forget these recipes and others can be found at gdseasoning.com. And I'll see you guys next time.